Oh, hi, it's me, Daisy Bees. Did you see that? I'm practicing a new technique for my level three advanced fairy magic course for changing my clothes. I think I'm getting really good at it. Watch me change back into my tutu. What? Well, that's not right. Uh, just kidding. I did that on purpose just to get ya. Okay, let, let me let me show you what I really got. I just have to do a little more, a little more dancing. <laughs> what in the world? Did you hear that? That mysterious noise is making me lose my concentration and mess up my magic. Oh wait, it's getting better. Let's try again really quick. <laughs> Got it! Phew! I'm so happy you're here with me today because I'm studying for my level three advanced fairy magic test. This book is full of new methods and techniques for making magic. But some of them are really tricky and I need to concentrate really hard. The noise is back! Oh, how is any fairy bee supposed to concentrate with all of this noise? That's it! If I can't study and concentrate, I'm going to fail my level three fairy magic test! Oh, hang on. Before I get even more upset, I'm going to get curious. Because as I always say, Every problem is an opportunity for adventure. Hmm, there must be some way to make it quiet again. How can we quiet this mysterious noise? <gasps> A question! You know what this calls for, the Curiosity Corner. What is causing this mysterious noise? <gasps> Do you want to find out how we can quiet this mysterious noise too? Yes? Great, then I need your help. I need you to use your imagination and say the... Magical Transportation Spell! Ready? Okay. Off we go, we're on our way to have a fun and magical day! It's Olivia the Owl. Hi, Olivia. Oh, 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 hello, Daisy. It's so nice to see you. Oh, what brings you here today? Well, I have a very important level three advanced fairy magic test coming up and I can't concentrate on my studies because of that mysterious noise. Do you hear that too? Oh, yes, I sure do. Usually I sleep all day. But I haven't been able to sleep one week because of all of that racket. Well, then we both need to figure out how to quiet that mysterious noise. First, we need to know what's making it. Olivia, you're a wise old owl. You're the wisest creature in this whole forest. You must know what's making that noise, don't you? Oh, oh, well, well um, um, you see, you who see, well, 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 yes, 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 aha, uh -huh. I know what it is, yes, of course I do, yes, it, uh, it must be, um, it's, uh, a oh, oh, busy boo, oh, oh, that, that must be it, that's right, that's what it is, I'm sure of it, oh, yes, a busy boop, hoo, hoo, aha, a busy boop, uh, what's that? Ah, oh, well, they're quite, um, rare. Yes, 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 yes. Very, very rare. And so loud. Oh, so, so loud. And always getting up to mischief. Hoo-hoo. Ah, uh, so is there any way to quiet a busy boop? Oh, uh, oh, yes. Yes, of course. You just have to, um, you just have to ask it. Yes, that's it. You just have to ask the busy boop very nicely to quiet down. In fact, that's exactly where I'm off to right now, to ask that busy boop to quiet down. Or Daisy, you who can ask it to quiet down too, who, as I have many important owl things to do. Who. Olivia, wait! What does a busy boop look like? Uh, well, I guess 
guess we're on our own. That pesky, noisy, busy boot must be around here somewhere. We just have to find it. Let's go. <laughs> You are the perfect person to help solve our problem. We need to know what a busy boop looks like. A, a busy boop? I don't know what, the, what that is. You don't know what a busy boop is? It's what's making all of that noise. Listen, listen. I hear it now. That mysterious noise. Olivia the Owl was sure that a busy boop was making all of that noise, and we just have to find the busy boop and ask it nicely to quiet down, and then I can get back to studying for my level three advanced fairy magic test. <laughs> oh, uh, Olivia the Owl told you this? Mm hmm Ah, I see. I'm afraid that Olivia the Owl really doesn't like it when she doesn't know something, so she may have made busy boops up. What? Why would she do that? Well, sometimes people, or owls, they don't like it when they don't know something. They feel embarrassed. But there's really no reason to feel embarrassed. I've been studying natural ecosystems for over 20 years, and there's still so much I don't know. I love that! It's powerful to say I don't know, and to remain curious. Curiosity can lead us on magical adventures. Oof, that's a relief because I don't know all sorts of things and I love staying curious and going on magical adventures. And so do they. I think that's great, but there's one thing I do know. This sound that we're hearing, that isn't the sound for Busy Boo. That's the sound for cicada or cicadas, some might say. But what are cicadas? <laughs> It's a type of insect. Aha! An insect! Uh, what's an insect? <laughs> it's a type of creature that has six legs, three bodied parts, and oftentimes has wings. Here, take a look. Oh, wow! I can see six legs! Count with me! One, two, three, four, five, six! <gasps> Very good. But how can such a tiny little creature make such a loud sound? Well, cicadas have a special body part called timbals, and they're like tiny drums that are located on the side of their bodies. Whenever they want to make sounds, they pull out their timbals really fast, and it makes a loud sound like when you bang on a drum. Ooh, I would love to have a pair of drums on the side of my body. They are pretty neat. The reason why cicadas are so loud in the summer is because they sing together. You see, one cicada can make a little bit of noise, but a lot of cicadas can make a whole lot of noise. Wow! So it may sound like the sound is coming from one source, but it is in fact the combined force of many thousands or millions of cicadas working together. Together, they are the loudest insects on the planet. Wow, that's amazing, but oh, millions. I'm never going to be able to concentrate on my studies. I could ask just one cicada to quiet down, but there's no way I can find millions of cicadas and tell them to quiet down. Oh, that would take forever. That is true, and they do make a loud sound. And I can see how that can be distracting for your studies, Daisy. But we're actually very lucky to be hearing this noise right now. Lucky? Why? Well, 
Every year, there are a few cicadas that come out and make a little bit of sound, but it's only every 13 or 17 years that a huge amount of cicadas come out and make a whole lot of noise together. See, it may sound like noise to us, but to them, it's singing. It's them speaking to each other. Wow, that is magical. What we are hearing is the sound of millions of cicadas singing together like a super giant chorus. That's right. So Daisy, instead of seeing the cicadas as making noise, we can experience it as the truly rare and magical event that it is. That's a great idea. I can't stop the noise, but I can stop myself from getting upset about it. And I can do that by changing the way I think about it. It's not a loud noise that's bothering me. It's a rare, beautiful insect song by thousands or millions of cicadas at one time. Oh, thank you so much, Emily. You're welcome, Daisy. And Daisy, since your studies sound like they're very important to you right now, I do know a way that we can make the cicadas sound a lot quieter. Really? How? Yes. Here. <gasps> Earplugs! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you so much, Emily! <laughs> You're welcome, Daisy. I'm going to go back to studying. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye! Bye! Wow! How magical that tiny insects can make such a loud noise! I mean, powerful, beautiful song. What I thought was an annoying noise is actually the sound of harmony. And instead of getting upset, I feel lucky that I was able to witness such a rare moment in nature where tons of cicadas got together to communicate, connect, and sing. Can you think of any times when humans get together and make a lot of noise? Hmm. Wow, those look like epic gatherings of people and noisy too. Maybe we're not so different from little bugs after all. And that is magical. <gasps> Speaking of magic, I need to study for my level three advanced fairy magic test. Good thing Tadesia gave me these. I can't hear anything. Wow, just remember magic is everywhere and it's up to you to find it. So go enjoy your day, find some magic, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!